Pastor Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for a refreshing time in God's presence. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube. RTM TV World. God bless you. You made the dead man rise, walked upon the sea. Oh, Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It is time to hear from the throne of grace. Shall we please pray? Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity to be alive during this season this month of double grace. Accept our praises in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you because by your grace we have already stepped into a new season. And now it is time to begin to swim in the ocean of a new season. Accept our praises in Jesus' mighty name. Please speak to us. Encourage each and every one of us let your name alone be magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, by the grace of God, we want to begin to look at the topic that we have mentioned in passing in the prayer, and that is swimming in the ocean of a new season. Swimming in the ocean of a new season. I will read two passages quickly. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Ezekiel 34, verse 26. Ezekiel 34, verse 26. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There shall be showers of blessing. It is time for us to swim in the ocean of this new season we are in. God is about to give us access into excess of every good thing that he has ordained for us this new season. But he will never give you a prosperity you don't have the capacity to receive. So please increase your capacity to receive from God at this time, our God will never give you a river when you are satisfied with a stream. He will never give you an ocean when you have already settled for a stream. Get ready to swim in the ocean of this new season. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now today we want to just look at one little bit of what we are discussing this time. And that is the question, what is a season? What is a season? Number one, a season is one of the four periods of the year. It can be spring, 
summer, autumn, or winter. And Genesis chapter 8, verse 22 says, Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, While the earth remains, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. So which means a season can be a subdivision of the year. Number two, what is a season? A season is that period of the year when something that happens every year happens. I take that again. A season is that period of the year when something that happens every year happens. That is something that happens annually. That's the period which happens, that is a season. In First Samuel chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3, First Samuel chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, Now there was a certain man of Ramatite Sophim, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah. You know the story already. The son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Suth, and Ephrathite. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. But that's not, what we are, that's not where we are going. Verse 3 says, And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. A season is that period of the year when something that happens every year happens. This is your season of joy. Somebody, listen to me. Number three, what is a season? A season is a period of the year when a particular activity or event happens. A season is a period of the year when a particular activity or event happens. Some of us have been planting seeds. It is time for harvest. Galatians chapter 6, from verse 7 to 9. Galatians 6, 7 to 9. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Verse 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Verse 9, which is the nucleus of the matter. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Why? For in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. For in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. For somebody that is listening to me, it is time for you to reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, a season is a period of the year when something is best or available. A season is a period of the year when something is best or when something is at its best, or when something is available. I read from the book of Psalms, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3. 
Psalm 1, 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth not in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Verse 3 says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You have planted that particular seed, that particular fruit. There is a particular time for it to begin to bear fruit. We will see that one later, by the grace of God. As I close, number five, a season is that particular period when an uncommon opportunity presents itself. A season is that particular period when an uncommon opportunity presents itself. In John chapter five, you will see the story of a man at the pool of Bethesda. We will not read it because of time. That man had been there for 38 years. And the Bible tells us that when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ saw him, he asked him a simple question. Will thou be made old? That was a simple question. This man had an opportunity of a lifetime. But he began to tell stories. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. An angel will come at a season, at a particular time. So once you miss that opportunity, you miss it. But Jesus Christ decided to change the method. He decided to change everything because of this man, because it was a time for him to receive his miracle. I pray that you will not miss your opportunity this season in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The opportunity we have now may not present itself again. Don't miss it. This is your season. Your season to succeed, your season to launch out in the name of Jesus. As I want to close, every season, or rather every fruit has a season. I read that to us in Psalm 1 from verse 1 to 3. Every fruit has its season. Every family has its own season too. Believe me sincerely, every city has its own season. This is our season, our new season. And every nation has our own season. We are not, com we are not going to miss it in our, in our nations. In the mighty name of Jesus, every profession and every occupation has its own season. And every generation has its own season. It is our new season. I want us to pray and tell the Almighty God, Father, don't allow us to miss our season. It is our season. We don't want to miss it. We have already stepped into this season. We are no longer in any lockdown. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, it is a new dawn. It is not enough to step into your season. You must begin to swim in this new season. Father, give me the grace to begin to swim in this new season. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are there, you are not yet born again. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ before you can enjoy this season. Wherever you are right now, talk to the Almighty God. 
Tell him, Lord, I come before you just as I am. Save me. Write my name in the book of life. Give me the grace, too, to begin to enjoy this new season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we commit what we have found into your hands. We pray that it will produce seed to the glory of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be testimonies at the end of the day. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Join Pastor Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for a refreshing time in God's presence. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube, RTM TV World. God bless you. You made the dead man rise, walked upon the sea. Oh.